social distancing. It's tough out here. Yeah, I reckon we should manage. <laughs> Welcome to Winton in the middle of Queensland. This is the heart of Australian dinosaur country. I'm gonna take you all around there. And uh, the town was founded in about 1875. Now home to, funnily enough, about 875 people. So it's a small place, got a little bit of charm though. The Matilda Centre is really something to see. And when you get around and see some of the dinosaur stuff in this region, it's quite extraordinary. So let me take you for a little walk around town. town of Winton itself, it's only small but it's pretty, but the region has got a lot going for it between um, the Age of Dinosaurs Museum, Lark Quarry and um, the Opal stuff in area too, plus just the beauty of the wild Australian bush. It's definitely been worth a stop for us on this big trip. Now it's time to hit the road again. This is one of the most important contributions Winton has made to the world. The birthplace of Qantas. Apparently some of the first meetings, if not the first meeting between the uh, eventual founders of Qantas, Hudson Fish and Mr. McMaster, <laughs> happens here at the Winton Club. And in tribute, there's a big old wheel here. Pretty significant though. One of the other things that made this part of the country boom outside of agriculture was the discovery of opals. Opals are a type of precious stone found here in Australia in particular. Other places in the world too, but mostly the best opals in the world come from Australia. And there was a bit of like gold rush for opals when they were discovered. About 120 kilometers south of here at a place called Opalton. And we're gonna visit Opalton. I'm gonna show you what that's like. Um, there's something cool about Opalton, about its isolation. You'll hear about that uh, as we go. But opals have also been part of the community up here too and it brought people into the region seeking their fortune. Well this is clearly the place to be. Now behind me is the North Gregory Hotel which is where Waltzing Matilda was supposedly first performed live. First time. <laughs> a pretty little corner of the country even though the land here is harsh and life here would be very difficult it still has this amazing charm once you get out in the desert and in the bush you go and explore this dinosaur country the views are just breathtaking i think it's the expanse so much blue sky um rugged country it really is just a pleasure to be out here all across the australian landscape you get these things called jump ups which are like bits of the higher land kind of popping out of the desert and the plains below and essentially like that top pit of rock it's like concrete it's super hard whereas um, stuff underneath it kind of erodes away and eventually you know you're left with this kind of top capstone bit of uh, rock that eventually as you can see here just, you know these are the bits that are just falling off the edge and they're sort of slowly making their way down to the eroded plain below what do you make of dinosaur triangle Brute, what's it called? <laughs> dinosaur Trail. Dinosaur Trail, well it's only the first, uh, first bit of, of the trail, but uh, it's been really good. This uh, museum, the dinosaur, the Age of Dinosaur Museum um, is awesome. I, I wasn't expecting as much actually. There was three different tours within that museum. 
and being able to see um, fossils that have been excavated and being shown the tools they use and how they do it and then seeing um, actual foot marks, footprints and seeing reconstitutions of dinosaurs, having some really good explanations of the different types of species and where they were found and so on. It's been really interesting. It's been great, hasn't it? Yeah. The area of Winton is what's called a dark sky sanctuary. Basically, it's one of only 10 dark sky sanctuaries in the world, a place where it's incredibly dark, the night sky, so you've got some of the best views of the stars that you're gonna see anywhere. And essentially, that's because not only there's nothing around, the small town of Winton doesn't cast a lot of light, but it's also really dry here, so the view, and there's not many, not many clouds, so the view of the night sky is really quite extraordinary. Oh,